So I've been on a, a topic here, choose prosperity. I'm just going to share a little bit on it. Remember we said um, in 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 9, it talks about Jesus became poor that we might become rich. R remember we talk about that? Okay, let's just share that scripture. Uh, let's just start right there because I, I want to jump into this and I want to spend just a little time on this tonight because uh, I believe that there are several folks in the church and the church circle who really don't understand that God's desire is for us to walk with our heads up. Let me say it again. God's desire for all his people to have 200%. All right, oh no, can't get the tape. Glory to God. God desire for all his children to be wealthy. You see, some don't get it. You see, this is the challenge, and why we have to teach on this is because there are too many believers who are walking behind believing that it's not the will of God, and, uh, you know, we should live less than. And so we're accustomed to watching other folks living the best life. And you as a believer living scraps. What left? Pat bottom. Black, black. Hand me down. If them gear something. It's like rata play with it with the color, nibble, nibble up, and them tell you, God bless you. God bless me with nibble, nibble up shirt. Keep that. Hallelujah. So I just want to show you that so it can calm your nerves that anywhere you go, if anybody tell you, it doesn't matter who, that you know you should be poor. I'm saying that too can be a choice. All right, okay. I'm just going to share a few scripture because we've been on this a bit. And then if I feel so led, I want the praise team for sing. Because since you don't know, want to hear about that, you want to hear me talk about why it's squally. Squally? <laughs> Who wants squally? Can't? That's a choice too. Hallelujah. Bright Lion Mount Corner is a choice too. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9. Let us just look at that. 2 Corinthians 8, 9, what it says. Verse 9. For you are becoming progressively acquainted with and recognizing more strongly and clearly the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. His, his, Hallelujah. Let's just Hallelujah. look at 2 Corinthians 8, verse 9. Verse 9. For you are becoming progressively acquainted with and recognizing more strongly and clearly the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, his kindness, his gracious generosity, his undeserved favor and spiritual blessing, in that though he was so very rich, yet for your sakes he became so very poor in order that by his poverty you might become enriched, abundantly supplied. So you see that. He became poor that we might become what? Rich. And I want to add very rich. Glory to God. So we're seeing that. Now let's go to uh, Luke 15 and verse 31 from the King James Let's look at Luke 15 and verse 31. So I'm just walking you through a few scriptures just to show you if you're just joining us. We've been on this for a few uh, uh, weeks. So you have to catch up by getting the tape. So I'm just jumping in now from this section, just kind of buttoning up this thing nicely. Okay. I want to approach this like a Philadelphia lawyer. Glory to God in heaven. Hallelujah. 
Read it. Verse 31. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. Thou art ever with me. We and are always with the Lord. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. The Lord always with us. You always pray? Watch now, see it now. Mm -hmm. All right, for those of us who always pray, see this as God talking to you, right? Read it again now, reader. It says and what? And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, uh -huh. and all that I have is thine. You hear that? All that I have is yours. Read that again for me, now, read that. Verse 31. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. I wonder if you hear that. All that I have is thine. Now, remember, you know, if you don't know what all that he has, let's go to Revelation 5. And verse 12. All that he have is yours. I wonder what that is. Verse 12. Read it. Saying in a lone voice, uh -huh. deserving is the lamb who was sacrificed to receive all the power. Glory to God. All the power. And riches. Yeah, but just add all to all of them now. And all the riches. Yes. And all wisdom and all might. And all honor, and all majesty, all glory, all splendor, and all blessing, and, and all, all favor. favor. Glory to God. So all that he has is yours. And in case you didn't know what the all is, we just list them. All power, all glory, all riches, all wisdom, all wealth, all splendor, all might. All blessings, all favor, that belongs to you. Touch, put your interest and say, all of that are for me. So you're not supposed to be walking in anything less than this. Do you see that? Yes, say, neighbor, why are you so quiet? <laughs> Let me talk to my Zoomers. Zoomers, all of this. Remember, you know. I, I want to show you, teach you a principle because God is a principle God. You see, you can't receive anything from God that you don't know nothing about. So God has to teach it first or the word has to come first before the manifestation because God says, I will confirm my word with signs and wonder following. So if you don't know that $10 million is in a wallet for you, chances are you will die poor. So the word has to come first. Somebody has to tell you that this is yours before you can get it. So what I'm doing tonight is showing you and telling you what belongs to you. And I won't leave it like that. I will show you how to get it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. For the few who really get it, bless God for you. Bless, bless God for the few who got it. So, all over the scripture, I want to show you now that that's how God said stuff. Let's just look at, 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 at this one. Um, Genesis 45, 17 and 18. I want to show you that God designed the best thing for his children. No riffraff. The best is set for you. The best. The best jeans, the best shirt, the best cars, the best houses, the best land. You see, I want to change our mindset because sometimes we can buck up into certain things and accept it. Well, let me start with me. Many years ago, I never think that I could own a new car. So I always go after an old car and my mindset was put rims on it. And in those days, I used to spoiler and tint it up. So you, you soup it up. So I would never go into a car, a, a, a mart or 
a, 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 a car company that sells new car. I was allergic to that. All broke, give me that. I want that. So I will buy a used car. And when I say used, I mean used. It's full of filler. Oh, you oh, understand what I mean? It's full of filler. Me say, the amount of filler upon the car there. All when it to eat it barely crawl. It's heavy with filler. Because it leaks so much, and them have to put well, but filler, 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 filler upon it. So I made that. I made tint it, put on some big wheel, but me never know how to um, stop the smoke from the muffler. So yeah, when me drive past, I saw the whole out of the calf. <laughs> and you're high red. You say, yeah, man. I, well, you couldn't call me a pastor then. He said, Scotty, just pass. And for me, a second-hand car, souped up, was the best. Not think about not own a house. We think about rent a house. I wonder if we're not kind of... And, and I mean years into Christianity too. Because past never preached this. So me, we, we settle for less than all our lives. But there's nowhere in the scripture that tells us that we should settle for less than. Genesis 45, 17 to... Um, 18. Verse, verse 17. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, yeah. Tell your brothers this. Load your animals and return to the land of Canaan. Yeah. Verse 18. And get your father and your households and come to me. Yeah. And I will give you the best in the land of Egypt. You hear that? The best in the land of Egypt. The best, you know. Him could have said the worst, the what left, the best in the land of Egypt. I want to change your mindset. The best in the land. Let's move Egypt of Jamaica. If you're in the U.S., the best in the land of U.S. If you're in Canada, the best, the best, the best. So if you're on an avenue or you live in a block, the best house. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me tell you a little. Oh, let, let me give you a little insight. You know what we do? If we go in a community seeking a house, this is what we have grown accustomed to. And it's, it's, it's. Lack of knowledge or bad principle. So let us say 10 houses are on the street. One kind of rundown-ish. One no so rundown and the rest a top class. Tell the honest truth. You know, pass the eight house with top of class and go down to the half rundown. Is that so you're going on? Because you're thinking of a deal, a discount. Who oh, no, no, talk to me? I say, that's the mindset we grew up to have. Eight top class house, upstairs, balcony, swimming pool, umbrella upon top, everything. And, and, and the other two upon the road now. Run down and thing. You, you, where, where you go go? The run down one, because first thing, you're saying to yourself, is less money. Second thing, you can maybe get a deal and still get them to take off something. And you're going to go bargain to say it one little fix up so you have to go down further. Not you. It's a mindset. We never ever think or thought that you can go at the best one and God can make you get that fit. So this is what I have to say to you because we would walk pa past the eight top top house and go down to the rough one, rough one not thinking that we could have stopped at the first one with top of tops and maybe that's the way the man would say, you know, I like you and the Lord just told me that I must give you this house. I 
I want to change your mindset. Listen why. We're in the last days and you're going to have some wicked sinner with some big money where them sit on pan and the money are burned them pan in a glutus maximus and oh sorry, I'll pass it now. And you don't know God may cause one of them to wake up with you on their mind. You say, all right. Okay. Maybe this is too strong. Maybe this is the wrong audience. Uh, let, let me talk to my Zoom. My Zoom with the hands. Right in the US where you are, your neighbor, some grant or something can be released uh, with your name on it. You have to expect God to show up now in some supernatural ways. God don't put on no riffraff for him, children. is the best. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God in heaven. Let's just jump down to this because I, I'm just going to chife on this a little bit. So, so you see here, the best in the land belongs to God's people. Okay. So uh, in, in Luke 10, 3 to 4... And then Luke 22 and 35. So, because he already said this, that the best is for his people, God now, remember now, if we have all power, then learn this authority now. You're going to find yourself in the earth or in a community and, or on a job and you could find yourself without money. Listen to the wrong mindset now. Me have to have money in order to survive. Let me say it again. Listen to the mindset how they tricked us. You have to have something. And I saw you grow for here. You have to have something put on in order to survive. Okay, Luke 10. Watch this. Verse 3 and 4. Verse, verse 3. Glory to God. Go your way. Go your way. Whether you go foreign, go Jamaica, go local, go your way. Behold, I send you out like lambs in the midst of wolves. I'm sending you out as lambs. That means uh, you, you just said, me poor thing. As lambs uh -huh, in, in the midst of in, wolves. Verse 4. Carry no purse. No carrying a purse with you. No provision bag. No provision bag. No carrying no money with you. No change of sandal. No change of clothes. No change of sandal. Go on with you all, Buga. Refrain from retarding your journey by saluting and wishing anyone well along the way. Eh, hey, or no stop for beg nobody, not nor bar or nothing. You, you hear that? No, no, no do this. God has said no, no beggy, beggy, no licky, licky. Turn to your neighbor and say, no, 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 licky, licky man. God said, no, carry nothing with you. Because remember, we just read all power. Some of you don't, you don't get it, you know. Listen, when you have all power, you don't need nothing else. So that's why he was testing the disciples to say, I'm going to remove everything because you still have power. Now, when you have power, let's show you how you use it. Hallelujah. So he sent them out on the journey with no purse, no money, them not have the house, no change of clothes, no sandal. He sent them out. Luke 22, 35. Verse 35. And he said to them. And he said to them. When I send you out with no purse uh -huh. or provision bag uh -huh. or sandals, did you lack anything? Let's read what I'm saying now. And they said. They answered. White squall did bite me. Nothing. Lord, me book a tear up. Nothing. Lord, me a dead for you hungry. Nothing. Lord, I mean, me never, me, me never hungry. I, 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 I'm brought down so yet. Nothing. They lack what? Nothing. Open your mouth and say it. Nothing. Say it again. Nothing. Say I lack nothing. I lack nothing. 
Listen why. Psalm 23, 1. Psalm 23 and verse 1. Read it. Verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd to feed, guide, and shield me. I shall not lack. One more time. I shall not lack. Say it again. I shall not lack. Now you in the auditorium, say it, say it. I shall not lack. Put me to my zoomers, put me to my zoomers. Open your mouth and say it. I shall not lack. One more time, my zoomers. I shall not lack. My YouTubers, open your mouth and say it. I, I shall, shall not, not lack. lack. Everybody, let's say it together. I, I shall not lack. lack. Don't say it too fast. Let's just let's just sum it up nice and to come after three. One, two, three. I, I shall not lack. So this is a divine setup because God gave you power. But, but listen now, if you don't believe you have power, you're going to go looking for people to give you a handout. Looking for people to give you things. No, the power is in your mouth. Say neighbor, the power is in my mouth. Say it again. Say neighbor, the power is in my mouth. Glory to God in heaven. Find three person and tell them the power in my mouth, man. Hallelujah. I want to show you this. Matthew 17, 27. Say, neighbor, this is a divine setup. Matthew 17, 27. Say, neighbor, this is a divine setup. Read this now. Watch this. Verse 27. So Jesus had power with him, disciple. Remember now, he had power. But he didn't have nothing with him. Read it now. He's teaching. Watch the teacher teach. For the Son of Man is, is come into the glory, majesty, splendor of his Father and his angels. At is, is where am I read? Yeah, Matthew 17, 27. Eh? But we don't understand this man. I try. Where am I try? Where am I try? Glory to God. I said to him, I said, me up. I set him and set me up. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Read it now, verse man. Verse 27. Verse 27. Follow me in your Bible. Matthew 17, verse 27. Yeah. However. However. In order not to give offense. Not to give an offense. And cause them to stumble. Uh -huh. That is to cause them to judge unfavorable and unjustly. Uh -huh. Go down to the sea. Everybody say, power coming, power coming. Go down where to the sea and do what? And throw in a hook. Throw in a hook and then do what? Take the first fish that comes up. And then do what? And when you open his mouth. Say tear out his mouth. Glory to God in heaven and do what? You will find there a shekel. Take it. Everybody say money. Glory to God in heaven. And you shall do what? Take it. You shall do what? Take it. You shall do what? Take it. Glory to God in heaven. Say neighbor, money in the mouth. It's a principle of power that God is showing you. Go down to the, the sea, fling out your hook, catch a fish, tear out the mouth, take out the money, and do what with it? And do what? And give it to them to pay the temple tax for me. Yeah. And for yourself. Then if we can't pay a tax for you, me, me no can buy clothes and shoes and oh, glory to God in heaven. Yeah. Say neighbor, neighbor. The, power the power is always with me. Always because God says, because says all, power, all power, all glory, all, glory, all wisdom. All riches, all, riches, all, honor, all honor, all glory, all, glory, all, splendor, all splendor, all blessings, all, blessings, all, favor, all favor, belongs to me. Belongs to me. If they believe Romans 8, 17. Romans 8, 17. Glory to God, I feel happy. Glory to God. Verse 17. And if we are his children... 
Then we are his here also. Yeah. Hearers of God and fellow hearers with Christ. Yeah. Sharing his inheritance with him. Only we must share his suffering if we are to share his glory. No, I'm saying to you that God set it up in such a way everything belongs to him and he has given you authority and power but you're going to walk through life sometime you don't have the house yet you don't have the car yet you're still living a rent house you don't have a good job but you have a moat you have a moat and you have authority and you have a moat and you have word his word his word you have his word his word shall not return to him void the bible said numbers 14 28 say unto them as you have said in my ear I will do unto you you have the word it is nigh you even in your mouth the word of God say neighbor I have the word of God I call those things that be not as though they were and they came without money So until the money come and the house come, you call it. I say until it come, but nobody tell me. So this is what we do as believers. We walk in the earth without power and we look into people to empower and to give your hand out. And if this man leave you, you're going to suffer. And if this woman leave you, you're not make it. And if the boss not promote you, you're salt. And if you don't get, you know, one partner, and you don't get first draw, you suffer. When the Lord is your shepherd, and you shall not lack. It never said, Bev is my shepherd, me shall not lack. Neither did it say, Tony is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Go on, Tony, money soon done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all the while, Tony, I got it. But the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not lack. His name is El Shaddai, the God of the much. Unlimited wealth. I have to say this to you because we are stuck in a realm. The realm that we are stuck in is lack of knowledge. So listen now. A man come and him have a wear and left shirt. And him tell you, say, God bless you. And so, give him back. Jesus garment, them fight over it. A cast lot over it because it's se it sure, seamless. It's crisp. It's expensive. How oh, you get riffraff? You got lamb. People knock at people gate now and, and, and you know, they are giving something to the less fortunate. The milk, you know, the tin bend up, bend up. The bread milled you. How will you know why you are giving? That a piece of out of this. Eh? You better toast that and eat it. The Lord is my shepherd. No riffraff. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. Come say, the Lord is my shepherd. There is no riffraff. No riff Let's say it again. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Me no sickle for riffraff. Everything he created for you. Amen. Hebrews 1, 2. Hebrews 1, 2. And then let's just look at Colossians 1, 16, 17. Glory to God. We're just ham trying some scriptures. I'm showing you here all over. We have settled in a realm where we don't belong. Hebrews 1, 2. Read it. Verse 2. Verse 2. But in the last of these days. Yes, in the last of these days. He has spoken to us in the person of a son. He has spoken to us in the person of a son. Glory <laughs> to God in heaven. Read. Whom he appointed here a lawful owner of all things. Of a few things. Of all things. A one and two things. Of all things. All things. So, okay. Let's, let's read her. Also by. Hey, hey. 
Listen to me, I say no reader, man. Eh? The ear of all things, right? Yes, sir. That's what it said? Yes, sir. I was about to say to you, just list some things where you consider all things. Like what? All power, all glory. Oh, Jesus have mercy. Ah, oh, Jesus. Somebody can take a mic and, and call out some things, you know. For me, reader, you are not liquor tonight. Him and the liquor, him, uh, him, him, him fully liquorized. What, what does it? Take some, hello, you have the mic? Gotcha. All right, he, he might pass the mic. Come on, Tina Camilla. Watch her, she, she not have a clue. Hello. All you houses. Hello. Okay, you just say house, watch this. You see you, you did something foolish. You got the mic and you passed it. This is a prophetic ministry. I don't play with prophetic stuff. Your house is loose. You say, you, you take me for granted. That's what you do. I am carrying the word of God to you with manifested power. You are allowing folks from the outside to come in and benefit while you sit here under the word every day and you're going to walk out with nothing because you're waiting on something when it even exists. He passed the mic to the young lady and she passed it on. Houses, cars, lands, vehicles, visas. Vehicle, visa, houses. Lands, house, car, come money, come to me. Thank God in heaven. Money, vehicles, visa, house, lands, properties, everything. <laughs> lands, houses, good health, wisdom, Wonderful understanding. Sister. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Knowledge, understanding. All cars. things. So I give you the mic. I give you an opportunity to name some things. All things mean all things. Now, what I notice a little bit is the mic has passed to about five or six persons easily. And most of them say the same thing. Round about the same thing. I'm showing you, you know, and this is a test, where our mindset is. Here, here you go. Oh, scar, money, land, whatever. So all I know, what happened to business? What happened to hotel? What happened to aircraft? You see, this one I try to tell you, you know. What happened to boat? What, you see, I, I'm showing you that you're limited based on knowledge. And so, this is why in the kingdom of God, some will have and some don't have. Because you, just like I did, settle for the car when I have a soup up. And I walk past the car dealership because I never believed that God could give me a new car. It's the same way. So even in a setting like this, look how easy six person could say the same thing. Why we have to say the same thing? I'm showing you. I hear somebody say, car house. You hear me? Car house. It become contagious. Car, car house. Hold on a little bit now. Car and house. You know, think a business could give you a car and a house. Instead of you say, car and house, it stop. How you sustain them? How you pay for them? How you maintain them? So I, I'm showing you the mindset. You get the car, you get the house, but you can't pay the insurance, you can't maintain it. Because you never thought business or a hotel. Because if you say a hotel, then you're sure of a house and a... <laughs> Choose wisdom, the wise thing. 
and not the thing that will cause you always to be stretching your hand. Glory to God in heaven. I'm walking you through. That's why God says, when I send you out to that purse and whatever, him said, don't greet no man by the way. And go, him said, did you lack anything? They have reason to out first, you know. Because in the natural, if me not carrying no money with me, me not carrying no food with me, me not carrying no clothes with me, how me I go survive? Me I go smell bad. Me, me must, I go stop and beg. So him said, no, 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 no. No greet nobody upon the way. So he shuts off all your natural thinking. Don't greet nobody upon the way so you can't beg nothing. Because no phone would agree. Hi, Miss Matthew, how you do? You're not like water, they're thirsty. God said, no greet nobody upon the way. No carrying no money, no carrying a purse, no carrying a change of clothes. Me sure they must say, Lord, so how we going to manage? Him say, you have authority in your mouth. Say, neighbor, neighbor, it was always in my mouth. In my That's mouth. why he said you will have what you say. And listen to the foolishness that even believers are saying today. Me salt, me not have it. Me just can't get a man. Me just say, me just not a husband. Not not go on for me. Lord, me no know, me no know, me no know, me no know. Boy, me confused. But you are said. You're saying it. Glory to God. Read up. Hebrews 1, 2 now. Read it again. Glory to God in heaven. God Hallelujah. In heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Verse 2. But in the last days. In, in the, the last days. That's now. Read it. He has spoken to us in the person of a son. Yeah. Whom he have appointed here a lawful owner of all things. Of all things. Mm. Also by and through whom he created the worlds and the reaches of space and the ages of time. He made, produced, built, operated and arranged them in order. Yeah, so I know everything. And let me go further now. Colossians 1, 16, 17. So God already, before you and I came here, created and arranged some things. Who you think he arranged it for? For him children, for the joint ears to come. Hallelujah. But if we grow up in a community where we hear, say, slice of bread, quarter pound of butter, two slices of this, two slices of that, that's going to be our mindset. So when we leave the community, we're going to live off a slice of bread and quarter pound of butter as our mindset. We're not going to be thinking bakery. So that's why you will leave one community and look for going to live in our next community. God, why you move out of one community and go up into the highest order? Oh, yeah. But a lot of times we think we're not welcome there because here we know it belongs to the elite. Who is the elite? Not me and you. We have walked away from the best and leave it to sinners. And we said the elite folks have the best. Why? God says, you just read it, all things are mine and all things belong to you. He never said the elite. It's we disqualify ourselves. Say, neighbor, as of today, I am very elite. Glory to God in heaven. Make us add two more verses to it. Say, neighbor, as of now, I am very, very, very elite. Just see me here. Read Colossians 1, 16, 17. Verse 16. For it was in him. It that was in him. That all things were created. Now remember this now. When you came to the altar and you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, where he came, in you. All things are in him. When you accept him, all things are now in you. Read it now. For it was in him. It was in him. 
them that all things were created. Glory to God, I feel, I feel, I feel. It was in him that all things were created. Like what? Read it. In heaven and on in earth. In heaven and in the earth. Like what? Things are seen. Things where you can't see. And things unseen. And things where you can't see. So not because you don't see it, it don't mean that it not dead. Eh? For those of you who are overseas, not because you cannot see it, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I am saying there are some stuff that God know that you want. Him call them desire that you have deep in you that you don't see it yet. But it don't mean it don't exist. Because he moved on the inside of you. He's the creator of all things. He brought all things with him when he moved on the inside of you. And he's waiting on you to go down into the depths of his belly. And search out the inner glory to God. And then now release. Get it from inside and carry it up and what? Fling it out. That's why he could say to the disciple, go down at the sea. Cast out the hook. Words, instructions. He gave instruction. And as you carry out the instruction, you see the manifestation of the power. Finish read now. Things unseen and what? Whether thrones, dominion, yeah. rulers or authorities, yeah. all things were created and exist through him by his service, intervention, and in and for him. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. And he himself existed before all things. Glory to God in him. And, and in him all things co consist. Cohere our hell together. Glory to God. Romans 3. Verse 3 and 4. All things in our him. And me accept him. As my Lord and Savior. And him moving on the inside of me with all things. I mean, I walk up and down, say, I nah, nothing. Hello. I was just sharing with Anne a few hours ago that for years, when we just started, we used to, con we call it our confessions. And we would say them sometimes three times a day. Every day. Every time we meet for church and still we, we do it. Now, the things that we are constantly saying, we get so accustomed to saying it that we're not even looking for what we're saying. But one of the things that we notice is, that the things we were confessing all the time came into existence, into the realm of reality. And if somebody have to touch you and say, you know, say, you have that, and you have that, and you didn't get that, and you didn't get that. Hello. We've been confessing and confessing that we own this and we own that. And we have our own space also. From when we were at Holy Childhood having a little crusade. We don't live nowhere, we don't know where for the church, you know. The last day of the crusade was the Friday. And we're supposed to have church on Sunday, right? And we know the Wednesday now, you know. The crusade on the Friday. We're supposed to have church on Sunday. And we don't know where to tell the people where to go, you know. Because we don't, we, don't, we don't live nowhere, we don't know where. But we don't work my confession. For tell you the truth, me now go tell you, say, me man on Wednesday now, crusade on Friday. Me have to announce to the people who get saved where the church service will be. Because Holy Childhood was just a borrows with it rent the all for two weeks. A Wednesday you now, it had done the Friday you now. And everybody had come and said, so where is, where are we going to meet again? Me say, trust God, <laughs> I, so, I so announce it. I don't know myself. But we are saying with confession. Thursday morning. I said the Thursday morning. Somebody called me and said, You know, 
a place Jen cared it up at the mall, it lock up for all long. And me hear the man say something like, I want to rent it out. I not even drive, me fly go up there. I believe I had wings. When I went up there, the man was just on the outside, lean up on the railing. I don't know if I me first go, second, third, but I know if I just go back up in the inner man. And I say, sir, hello, are you the owner? He said, yes, and who are you? I say, right now, me is nobody. I just come trying to look somewhere. And I start explaining myself and so. He looked from head to foot. He said, well, if you want to see the place, I must tell you, it's very dusty. I tell you, it has been locked up for, like him said, for three years and whatever, whatever. And him just decide for, him just decide to, to give it up and to move on and whatever and stuff like that. Him said to me, you want to come and see it? So me called to intercessor and some people and said, meet me up by mall. So, the common thing, and him said, well, if you like it and whatever, him said, him and wait for the outside, we can just go and go look and thing. So, we go and go look and whatever and thing like that. One of them carry one sledgehammer when he come. And the boy lick out, start lick out him, man, please start lick out him, please. Even if him never want to give me, him half give me now. <laughs> the man said, if you like it, you, you can have it. The people I'm going to go see one mackerel at three years it in the final. <laughs> then cut the mackerel, go and go eat the mackerel. Me nearly have, have a prayer service. We were so excited. It's the confessions, you know. We're doing over the years the confession. It opened up the door that the man decide all of a sudden that he want to give up the place all of a sudden. And the man meet me on the, on the, um, on the, what, what, what the place name now? The veranda. What, what, the, what we call it now? The, the corridor, hallelujah. The man give me the key and go in. The man don't take 10 cents from me. When I hear what I say. <laughs> me no carry no person. Me, me no carry no money. Me come and never had none. All I had was words in my mouth. And when I went there, the man gave me the key for the place. I didn't have a dollar to give him. I didn't give him a deposit. The man gave me the key and the man said, if you like it, you can have it. The man said, me to do what you need to meet with. And the man said, I'll come back in a week's time and we can talk further. And the man was whooshed out of there. And the people who me care, I licked down the wall, I brought out the place. I opened up this place. And we said, this is our own. And we, we start singing and worshiping night and cleaning up. And so, me don't pay the man 10 cents yet. So by the Friday of the crusade, I could say to people where the church would have been and where we would have gone and where we would have, we, we, you know, every, every little thing because one, all the confession came into reality. And that's how we move into Crown Olympia too, you know. The same, hello, is the same principle. We never have nowhere to go but the confession opened up a door. Words! But nobody told us that we that the power, the all power, the power was in the word. Jesus already moved on the inside. So every time we say Rabba Shatta, Rabba Kosata, we don't know what we are saying. But because he's on the inside of us, remember things seen and things unseen. Maybe we were saying, let the old crown Olympia boss give it the ballroom, Philip Lanotten. Uh, and let him do it now by Sunday. Maybe that we say when we say Rabba Kashaka. Me no know, but me know, said the rubber bar, shaka, 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 we didn't end up in there. All power. Say, neighbor, I have all power. It's in my mouth. I'm going to use it in these last days. You have to use it because the world, hello, listen what we're doing. We're sitting down waiting. And a rich man for drive up by your gate and blow and pop up. What's your name? I have some money to give away. Do you want it? Come on, please. Get out of here. And I saw it work. You have to call it. You have to call it. You have to call it. And the man will have it will turn up. Glory to God in heaven. You have to call it. And you have to call. Everybody say, call it. And when you call it, say, Say neighbor when you call it. It already have a built in GPS on it. 
so it will find you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It looked like I mean one feels so excited. You didn't finish reading that little part there. Eh? Eh? Romans 3, verse 2 to 3. Romans 3. Verse 3 to 4. Verse 3 to 4. Me read that name Lika, you know. Read. Verse 3. What if some did not believe? What if some don't believe? And were without faith. Yeah. Does their lack of faith and their faith faithlessness nullify and make ineffective and void the faithfulness of God and his fidelity to his word? Say no, no way, Jose. By no means. First, let God be found true, though every man be is false, human being is false and a liar. Glory to As God. it is written, that you may be justified and shown to be upright in what you say and prevail when you are judged by sinful men. Glory to God in heaven. Hallelujah. Let God be true and every man be a liar. Let me tell you what else God said. Joshua 1, 3 to 5. Glory to God in heaven. Joshua 1, 3 to 5. Joshua 1 and 3 to 5. All things are mine. Whatever you see Mr. Fung Tung have, you can have it too. Wherever Mr. Pai Lee live, you can live there too. God did not set it for Pai Lee and Fung Tung. He set it for his children. He said, all things are mine and all things are yours. The best belong to you. Today, if you're a believer, and you have on the best set of clothes, you know, so other believer, chat your faith. If you ever think you bad as a Christian, and drive a new car. Go to church or go to your office. And the tides are off in your teeth. Worse, if you're in a ministry, you're a person. Lord Jesus, your teeth are thin. Because not even the very Christians or church folks believe that God wants you to prosper. So if you have it, them think of teeth, your teeth it. You see how sad it is? We should be so excited when a brother have a hotel or when a sister in the Lord have four businesses. We should be excited and say, me next. That's why for me, I cheer on brother Rodney. I cheer him on from him have one vehicle. I me cheer him on until, him, until, until if him feel for tell you how much him have. I cheer him on. And guess what now? Him start mentor others now how to multiply what them have. That's all the thing set. The church quiet. I said I empower him as I will empower others. It's just as some not. Listen, you see the same example around here? I talk to many, but few listen. Hear what some people say. Our pastor full of jokey, man. And I was never joking. But some will sit down there and just grab that woman and say, I'll move with it. Hallelujah. 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 I said to somebody earlier, go to such and such a place. Listen how the thing set now. The place no normally open then. Let us say on a Saturday. A pastor may say, go there Saturday. Hear you. But after the place now open, now I'm going to help the pastor. Call me back. I pass the place now open on Saturday. Me no ask you nothing. Me say, go there. I say, well, me now go there. Call the place now open. You miss your miracle. Call the day. When me tell us if you go, that was the day when the man is dear. That glory to God in heaven. You don't understand how the prophetic work. Hello. Sometimes. Hello. You send people to do things that no normally happen. Because that's how the prophetic work. As you step out from the obedience. Pam. It works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Reader, let me tell you if you read something. Verse 3. Read it. Every place, 
every place a few places every place that means london canada miami atlanta georgia california jamaica antigua puerto rico every place upon which the sole of your foot shall tread yeah that have I given to you. If me want it. So if me go to Miami. I me see something in a Miami. I me want it. Pam! I have authority. But if me don't want it. Me can't leave it for somebody else. Hallelujah. I said every place. Where the sole of your feet tread. What God said. That have I given to you. So you can have somewhere in a Canada, in a Atlanta, in a Florida, you can in Puerto Rico, in Bahamas. I say you can have an apartment in Bahamas. You see, though, no, you're not thinking that. So you will go to other islands and walk around and rent and rent and rent and rent and rent. And you don't believe that. Okay, hold on a little bit. I wonder if they're selling a, a, a beach house. Oh, 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 dear. Uh, let me make some inquiry. You, you see, you're not even understanding that God can cause somebody in the Bahamas to bless you. Because you think that the blessing that God is talking about is limited to the country that you're in. Every place. Every place, everybody say every place. every place. That means if you go to Mobile, it can happen there. If you go to Portland, it can happen there. Uh, you see, I'm trying to change your mindset because some of us travel go several places and we now look for nothing. Every place, read it. Every place that I have given to you as I have promised Moses. Uh, hello. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Verse 3. Thank you. Every place upon which the sole of your foot shall tread. Yeah. That have I given to you. That I give unto you if as, you want it. As I promised Moses. Read it now. Verse 4. From the wilderness. From the wilderness. So it is, it's, you know, he's telling you, you know. Even if I in the wilderness. Every place. If the place is even in the wilderness, or let, let me translate in the country, country house, farmhouse. Some of you live in some place where a bush up, you alone are the only person. You're not no neighbor. <laughs> we talk God in heaven. Some people like to believe we are out by themselves, you know. Read it now. <laughs> From the wilderness. Oh, Jesus, up mercy. From the wilderness unto this Lebanon, to the great river Euphrates. Uh -huh. All the land. A few of the land. All the all land. All the land. Of the Hittites. Yeah. Canaan. And to the great Mediterranean sea on the west. Yeah. Shall be your territory. Uh -huh. Verse 5. No man. A few man. No man. Oh, only, 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 only the, only the top, top, top man. Them. No man. Oh, glory to God in heaven. One you and Bruce Lee. No man. Silver Fox. No man. One to a uh, hello, Golden Fox. No man. Ah, uh, uh, you, uh, you catch this one. Jet Lee. Jet Lee. No man. No, not even Jet Lee. No man. Mike Tyson. No man. No man what? Shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Everybody say no man. No man. Say no guy. No uncircumcised Philistine shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Only you can stop you. Read it. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Glory to God in heaven. Hallelujah. Let's go to this quickly. I want to show you this. Deuteronomy 28, 11 to 13. Let's do them quick. Deuteronomy 28, 11 to 13. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, before you get into that, sir, can I just say something? Say it. Say it. So, so, so 
So I was distracted a little bit, so because I was thinking about how I, how I get my house. Yes, talk, brother, talk. <laughs> Go with so God. when I went on the property to look at the house, sir, there were many people were right there. The, the person of X5, X6, Prada, all of these big vehicles. Jesus. And I was saying, God, high-end vehicles. High-end vehicles. I was saying, God, yes. how am I going to get this house? And I remember I have a mount. So guess what I do? I went into the house and I claim it. I said, this is mine. I claim it in Jesus' name. I guess what? My feet train on the property. Glory to and God. And so I claim the house. Glory to and God. I... Glory to God. Every place that the sole of your feet tread, glory to God. All he had to do is to say, Hallelujah. He never carry no, no lion vehicle. He never walk with a bag of money. He never walk with it. He walk with words. Hallelujah. He walk with words. And I'm happy he said he used his mouth. Because in, in them days, you know, it would have said if him say, you know, he, me, me glad him, him never said, he never kissed nobody. I'm getting it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you know, in them days, yeah. Negative, sir. Negative. Negative. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Words. Everybody say words. 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 So he stepped in the house. So all the I and vehicle persons, them who were maybe more influential, more qualified and whatever, he got the house. I say he got the house. Me never say it's a rent house. It's, it's all, oh, no, look on the man, funny and whatever. Rodney, can I just say that? Let's say this something. Hello, it's not a rent house. He didn't go there to rent the house. He went there to purchase. He went there to own the house. <laughs> Happy for him, man. Someone will be able to clap. Happy for him. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello. Happy for him, man. No vex with him. I know some of you might be saying him at such a young age. I'm in the pan, it's a earth and now me and I'm a six that I'm not away. Can you never own for your mouth? Hallelujah. Let's do it again. Happy for him. It comes with. That's right. It, it, and, and happy comes with a smile. If you don't know, happy comes with a smile. Let's start again. Happy for him. Glory to God in heaven. Hallelujah. 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 And if I ever, ever tell you, what else? How much of what else him have? But you know why I'm not tell you? You can't manage it. Because you might start thinking, how this, how that principles that everybody can apply. Every person. Remember where we started. All power, all riches, all honor. You don't have the riches yet. You might not have the wisdom, but you have power. You can't say you don't have power because you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So he is power. He moves on the inside of you and you have a moat. Read the scripture, reader. Let's just do this quickly. Verse 11. And the Lord shall make you. And the Lord shall make you. Have a surplus of prosperity. A surplus of poverty. Look good. Of prosperity. Lord Jesus. A surplus of evening tide home. Please. Of prosperity. Are you sure that it is? Yes, sir. In that it's a prosperity. No. A surplus of, of prosperity. A showing you that God wants you to have it. Read it. Through the fruit of your body, yeah, of your livestock, livestock or your business, yeah, and of your ground, of your ground. So if you farm or whatever it is, whatever business you do, know, and what else in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. Hello, you notice almost every scripture you say land. You feel own piece of land. The sinners, the heathens, are buying up and hawking up the lands. Leaving the Christian, them a fold them hand. Listen, honestly, how many of us drive past on Mandela on the highway there? Remember, you used to see the swamp land, the little bush bush? Hello, when the land go for 2,500 Jamaican dollars, nobody no buy it, you know? We see a swamp land. Ask how much for peace, I know. <laughs> because we don't see, we don't see, you know, 
we not seen. So we drive past a piece of land and we dash things over there and lit it to and say, oh land. You know how much a piece of land now? The same land where you drive past so much years. The same Mandela there on both sides. If you never know, let me jog your memory. When I used to drive past there, swampy, it didn't smell good. Swamp up. People, when it was being on the market to be sold, Christian drive past and say, I don't want that. I don't buy that. We're not even thinking, say, you don't have to live there. But you have other persons who are in sight. Because the believers, them run left it and want it. Some other person said, me will buy it for 2,500 Jamaican dollars. Give me 10 acres. And sit down upon the swamp. Now a highway. Peace of the swamp. Quarter pound of the swamp. All 15, 18 million dollars. And them just fold them on. I watch believers are run now a beggar ball a look loan. You know, it's an interest rate I got. <laughs> Lack of knowledge. We're sitting down waiting on God to drop his hand out of heaven. I'm saying, wake up! Wake up! That's a Nancy story. You watch too much Netflix. The sky will open and piece of land drop out and drop out your foot. It will never happen. But that's what we think as Christians. You want an SUV for drop out your foot. You have to go call those things that be not. Command the wealth of the sinners to be transferred to you. Don't just say to be transferred. I'll leave it so. Say to me. Hallelujah. Reader, let's do this quick. Verse 12. The Lord shall open to you his good treasure. A bad treasure. His good treasure. Oh, Jesus, man. His good treasure. And what? The heavens to give the rain of your land in its season. See that again, land. <laughs> and to bless all the work of your hands. Uh -huh. And you shall lend it to many nations. Uh -huh. But you shall not borrow. Or you shall not be beggy, beggy. You see that? Glory to God. Verse 13. Verse 13. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. Uh -huh. And you shall be above only and you shall not be beneath. If you hear the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day and are watchful to do them. Now I'm saying to you the authorities in the mouth. I'm going to give you this example today. I was driving out. I was heading on the road. Actually, I was getting a lift from Brother Don. So, I gave my vehicle out to be serviced, and I need a lift. While we were driving out, it was overcast. Dark, overcast. Many of you know Serena Fall, Arena Fall, in a Spanish town, Arena Fall. So, I picked up the phone, and I called Brother Neville. And I said to him, Neville, over there, rain and cloudy. Him say, yeah, man, rain and fall. Me say, you know what, little son? Me say, you have to talk to me now so I can turn it up. Me, 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 you want me to turn up the sun, little fear? Him bust out a laugh. Him say, yeah, me I do the little son. Me say, I turn it up. Not even three seconds, you know. But see, the sun come out, you know. Same time in around me, I, with the guys in the vehicle, I said, me want the sun to turn up. Too much of this dark thing. Ask them. They were in the vehicle with me. Ask Mark and all of them. Immediately the sun came out. It didn't come out five minutes before. So it's, don't tell me it's a coincidence. No car was there. Right, brother Dan? Huh? Immediately I said I'm turning up the sun because it's too overcast. So I said to Brother Neville, oh, you want me to up it some more? He bust out a laugh. He said, no, I don't want it too hot. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hello, listen now. I have authority. 
okay, say what you want, say whatever you want, or whatever. I'm saying, brother Dan is over there, Marky was in the vehicle, I turned up the sun. Yeah, I know some of you say, what? Watch him now. Watch him. Hello. Okay. Miss Emmy, turn up the sun. It's the same way the year I came and I said, I turned back the hurricane that was coming. Many pastors rise up against me and said, who do you think you are? Now the whole of them are turned back hurricane. You see, they didn't know that we have authority to send it back up on the Gulf. So when I, I, I remember the first year, I flew in from Miami as a plane, land on the tarmac, dark clothes. Them said, must lick Jamaica because the eye cover Jamaica. I stood on the tarmac, stretched my hand, and I said, I don't know where you go, or who sent you. I said, but I hope the Gulf you go, you're not coming here. Somebody touched me and said, but the eye already cover the island and it, it no no I forgot me say you can't turn the talk me say if you want it it'll go a few yards <laughs> me say up the gulf no hurricane never come yeah. and you know why every year many are assigned to come here, but as a result of believers who catch the, the vibes now, and who talk to it and tell it, wait for God and wait not for God, we only have little showers of rain. First time, every hurricane come it come here. If someone did born worth a Gilbert, Gilbert give it to it. I have had a hurricane when it come, every hurricane come, look for your roof. I see one of my friends roof around go long so and I say me <coughs> shout him and say, Are you a roof that you're not in the shame? Oh we are talking about after I'm my roof, then I say then then oh me not see nothing for you always stop. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said because I look up him say gypsum. <laughs> same thing, same roof still dead. There. Hallelujah. Me have to call him outside and say, You come out and look up. It gone for you. Him time they see man around on him roof. Hallelujah. The power in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know it sounds strange. I'm saying to you, Zoom fiance. You have a level of authority always in your mouth. It's not just with hurricane. You can command. I told you also, and I say this, many years ago, my sunroof in the car wasn't working. And I had to go to Montego Bay. The roof was opened by somebody. I gave a ride. Opened up the sunroof with them fast self. It never had a motor in it. And I pointed to the era where the missing motor was. And I said, roof be closed. And it locked. Without a motor. Happy for me. I said this other one, we never have the money, you know, but we wanted an ice maker, a fridge, an ice maker. We didn't want something nice because everybody have it in them house, upso. We never live in an upso, we live in a rent house. And I went into the store, me and my wife, and I looked at it and I said, boy, I mean, I really like it. I said, God, I mean, I really like this, you know. And I literally feel like God was saying, so where you going about it? We never have the money to buy it. It was too expensive. So I said, Father, me thank you for ice maker, crushed ice. It have light upon it. The fancy fridge and so. And me just say, Lord, I believe I receive it. And me thank you for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hello, three days after. Now the van that come drop off the fridge at my house. I wanted the, 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 you know, in the window as display. And the one that was in display was a black fridge. It's a white one drop off of my yard. Me call the company and me say because the van come with a big sign on it, C O. Me not remember where else. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it come, come drop it off. Me call the place as a reasonable man, and I ask for the supervisor. I said, listen, a fridge is here that we didn't pay for. It has crushed ice, ice maker, 
it has a light on it and some fancy gadget where we can all get water from it and so me say we could not afford this i paid for a nine cubit fridge the lady says sir you sure is the right place you call me say yes let me not see the chocolate drop it off she said it's one fridge we have and i'm looking at it now in the showroom it's a black fridge you could not order that fridge from here. Me say, lady, the chuck just drop off the white fridge here. With, I may describe the fridge. She says, sir, calm down. <laughs> we don't have that fridge. One fridge of that kind is here, and it's on the display. It's a black fridge. The fridge that we're advertising out there, the shipment is coming in a week's time. So maybe is another company you got it from that can sing. Hallelujah. I said to the lady, me not call no other company because me see the, the color chalk and me see the big name spell out upon the chalk. Right? And the man then come out in a uniform with them, whatever. And then come drop off the fridge and me tell her, see me I look upon the fridge right now in my kitchen. She says, sir, what is wrong with you? And it done for me. Something wrong with me for you. I said, when I argue with this woman, she don't know nothing about the fridge. It, as it done for me, I said, excuse me. I said, ma'am, you know you're so right. I said, listen, you're so right. I'm so sorry I bothered you. You, have no, you, don't, you don't know what I'm talking about. And that fridge was in my house for over eight years. And we enjoyed ice, crushed ice, whatever, up to today, no man can tell me where that fridge came from. Happy for me. I can go further and tell you, when I lost everything, I had 14 cars, I lost everything. I was back at ground zero. God told me to use my mouth. Remember now, you know, Power, but I didn't read it as power. I had power. So I was calling a new car, calling a new car, and I was calling a new car because I never owned a new car before. Calling it, me lose 14. Went to a conference, park auditorium, and I wasn't at the front, me in the middle. And the man come to preach me and lick the thing and say, Give him on the key. And him gone back go and preach. I said, but how can I pass to this? When the service finished, a half white man come to me with green eyes. He says, sir, can I talk to you? I look on him for him. I say, I wonder if I, I wonder how this now. I'll, I'll lock him, I'll lock me up here now. What is now? I said, sir, yes. He said, can you come this way? I said, no, because I don't know what, what is this. He said, this is really, really serious. You know, I, I, I want to say something to you. So me go. Him say, about seven days I saw you in a dream. Remember the, the, the man I first me I seen. He's the first he seen me physically. But he said he saw me in a dream seven days prior. And he saw him giving me a car. Now, he started to explain the story to me that he bought his wife a brand new car. At the time, it was a Mitsubishi Gallant. He said he bought it for her, and she don't like it, and she don't want it. I'm making a fuss over the, whatever the car, so he did park it. Him say, him see me in a dream, him handing the car to me. And him said, the strangest thing, him come to the conference, and I mean him say. So him say, him believe that God want him to give me the car. Now, me start to think. Me say, me don't know if people give me nothing good. So I, I go to one fall roast this now, no engine and it now, no door right now, no wheel. Because me don't believe people give a new car. So he said to me, I, I must come to Montego Bay. He'll sign it over and give it to me. I went down there reluctantly. But I went. Went there. You see when the man stretch a key, give me a mess the car. Biscuit! Sunroof, sun tire, sun wheel, sun this. Hello, power this, power that, power this. Same time a justice of the peace was passing by. 
to sign the title over. Sign up everything and stamp it. She had her stamp with her. The man said, I want to obey God. I to take care and go on. Happy for me. I said, come with a smile. I never said yesterday it happened. I said years ago. But I said, happy for me comes with a smile. Now you see when I drove that car from Mobile to town, I lock off my cell phone. Lease him go come to his senses and say, what am I doing? What have I done? When he, if him call me, out of range. Lock off that straight at town. Hallelujah. And I say, lease him go. Find out where I live and so I park it over my neighbor. <laughs> Give me a ready, me gone with this. By the next week, my book of flight, my army. <laughs> Hallelujah. Foreign, my God. Me tune out. <laughs> the power was in my mouth, and I never know. I am saying it is in your mouth. Hallelujah. It is in where? Your mouth. Let's do this quick. Let me see if I just do this now. But when this happened, God says now, remember him. Remember him. Let's just share these. I'm just going to share these two scriptures with you. Uh, okay, let's just add this one. Let's do this quickly, reader. Deuteronomy 8, 17 to 20. Because when the power begins to work, Sometimes we get puffed up. When the power begins to work and things are happening, we forget God. Or sometimes we forget the man of God. I don't know I stick to say God, but no, no, let me say it again. I say, when the power and the miracles start happen, it's easy for us to forget the man of God or God or both. But God never said it so. If you go to a man of God and he deliver you and he, and, he, and he prays for you or minister to you and your wealth increase, remember the man of God, man, Lord, man, Lord, Lord, Lord. Read. Verse 17. And beware, lest you say in your mind and heart, my power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. Yeah. Verse 18, but you shall earnestly remember the Lord your God. Yeah. For it is he who gives you power to get wealth. Yeah. That he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers at this day. It's not. So remember him. He gives you the power. Remember now, the power is in the mouth to get wealth because he wants to establish his kingdom. So I'm talking to the Zoomers and those who are there who are partner with the ministry. Remember now, you know. God give power to get wealth so that him can establish a work, a kingdom. So that's what we're trying to establish in a community. So when God gives the power or the ability to partner with somebody to get a work of God done, then understand of a surety that God going to partner back with you. That's how it works. See, time and harvest shall not cease. If I sow in the right ground, I have, no, listen, it's the best thing for me. I'm sure of a harvest. There are some principles. If I sow to a prophet, I get a prophet's reward. If I sow to an apostle, there's a reward. If I sow to a pastor, there's a reward. An evangelist, a reward. So wisdom tell me. I can choose to sow to whichever office because all of them has rewards, but some of them reward the heavier. I may not say nothing more upon that. Read, reader. Just, you just finish read that. Verse 19. And if you forget the Lord your God. If you forget the Lord your God. And walk after other gods. Uh -huh. And serve them and worship them. I testify against you this day uh -huh. that you shall surely perish. And you know what? I want to do something to you. Uh -huh. Verse 20. 
Like the nations which the Lord makes, makes to perish before you, so shall you perish, because you would not obey the voice of the Lord your God. So the key thing is in the principle is obey God's word. Obey his voice. So God is going to remember now, everything in the kingdom of God is based on instructions. Instructions. That's why love in the kingdom of God has no feelings. Love is a law. Love in the world system comes with feelings, emotions, and we choose to do it. In the kingdom of God, love is a law. So God said, love, me love you whether you love me or not. In the world, if you don't love me, me don't love you. I may have a reason for not love you because you don't love me. I may have a reason for be kind to you because you're not kind to me. You don't chat to me, me don't chat to you. But in the kingdom of God, it don't work so. You don't give me nothing, but the law of love state, I must bless you, me not look to you, me look into God. So I keep the law working. It's a law. Love is a law. Hallelujah. Now remember this now. The word of God is instructions and map. If we follow them, the answer is there. You know, if you don't but, you don't try reason it out, you follow it. If God's word says go right, don't try reason it out, just follow it. We good? Let me show you now how we apply this principle. Let's show you this story. I'm just going to tie this up with um, some short scriptures here. Acts 8, let's look at from verse 35. Now here is a story where Philip was trying to get to this Ethiopian eunuch with some word. I'm, sh I'm going to show you all the principle work, you know. Choose prosperity. I'm showing all this principle work. So now he hooks himself up to the chariot and he's sharing some word with this eunuch. Let's pick up now from verse 35. Verse 35. Then Philip opened his mouth. See that? Him open him what? His mouth. Him open him what? His mouth. Him nose. His mouth. Okay. Him eye. Him tear out him eye. His mouth. Okay. He opens his mouth and do what? I'm beginning with the portion of the scripture. Yeah. He announced to him the glad tidings, uh -huh. the gospel of Jesus and about him. Yeah. So he was telling him, you know, words. Keep going. Verse 36. And as they co continue along on the way, uh -huh. they came to some water and the eunuch exclaimed, uh -huh. see here is water. What is to hinder my, my being baptized? So he was telling him, you know, about the whole thing about Jesus and him to get baptized and whatever and thing like that. And the eunuch in the chariot to drive with him and I walk, and the eunuch see some water and say, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, see some water. Read now. Verse 37. And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, uh -huh. if you have a conviction full of joyful trust that Jesus is the Messiah, and accept him as the author of your salvation yeah. in the kingdom of God, uh -huh. giving him your obedience, then you may. And he replied, I do believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Uh -huh. Verse 38. And he ordered that he the ordered that the chariot be stopped immediately, and both Philip and the eunuch went down into where the, the water, water, and Philip baptized him. So as the man see the water, the man says, "Stop! Then the water this." Him no, listen. Him never say if the water dirty, if the water come from wherever. Some of you would have said, "No, sir, this a water. I'm not sure." Me say, "My drive past water." It never say him driving past the beach. He was riding past some water and the man had talked to him about water and baptism and Jesus Christ. The man said, all right, see some water, yeah? Can I do it here, sir? The man said, yeah, well, if you, if you believe all of me, I say, and Jesus. He said, all right, all right, all right, stop it, all right. Me could do it now. I'm saying to you, let me walk you through the scripture. There are some things that we're waiting on. We're not for wait. Once the word is preached, you can have it when? No. So today I preach to your choose prosperity. You can't have it when? No. 
All right, you don't believe me, watch this. Mark 7, 24 to 30. Here is a woman that did not deserve blessing from God until a set time. Let's read the story. Let me show you this. Verse 24. And Jesus arose and went away from there to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Yeah. And he went into a house and did not want anyone to know that he was there. Yeah, him no want nobody know that him there, you know. Him go in a house. Read it. But it was not possible for him to be hidden from public notice. Yes. Verse 25. Instead, at once, a woman whose little daughter had was under the control of an unclean spirit, yeah. heard about him and came and flung herself down at his feet. So remember now, her daughter had a problem, an unclean spirit, Jesus hiding her house, he never want nobody to know that he's there, the woman here, set him up there. She heard, so she must know, say him the miracle, she heard about Jesus, so she find herself there, and she fling them herself. Read now. Verse 26. Now the woman was a Greek. Now it specified the type of woman that it was. This woman was a Greek, a, a Gentile, a, a Syphronician by nationality. These people no, have no business nowhere near Jesus or the Jews. Read what happened now. And she kept begging him to drive the demon out of her little daughter. Yeah. Verse 27. And he said to her, first let the children be fed. First let the children be fed. Yeah. For it is not becoming or proper or right to take the children's bread and throw it to the little house dogs. So what he was really saying is, hello, you are your time yet for no miracle. Let the children be fed first. My children. Let, let my children be fed. You is what left. You will get that. After the children is fed, you will get what left. You see that? She was a Greek. Read now. Verse 28. But she answered him, Yes, Lord. Yet even the small pups under the table eat the little children's scraps of food. Verse 29. And he said to her, Because of this saying, you may go your way. The demon has gone out of your daughter permanently. Read one more. Verse 30. And she went home. And she never said, You're sure? You're sure, boss? No, sir. You're sure you don't want to come with me? And hmm? she went home. Why you don't give me a little olive oil to carry with me, boss? And she went he home. He spoke words. He spoke what? Did him give her a bottle of olive oil for carry? No. No, sir. Him tying a red string for her? No, sir. What about two grapefruit and two lime? No, sir. He spoke words. And she went home. And what happened? And found the child thrown on the couch. And the demon departed. Words! Now, let me show you that she had no business getting this. Romans 1.16. Romans 1, 16, this woman was a Greek. This Greek woman had no business around Jesus for no miracle. It was not her time yet. Read verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, the good news of Christ. For it is God's power working unto salvation for uh, deliverance. Uh -huh. From eternal death to everyone who believes with a personal trust uh -huh. and a confident surrender and firm reliance uh -huh. to the Jew first. To the Jew first. So the Jews are established to get the healing and the miracles first. And what? And also to the Greek. So the Greek was second. So after the Jews got healing, the Jews got them breakthrough, the Jews got them miracle, then you go to the Greek. This woman was a Greek and the Jew not get yet. But this woman, because she heard that Jesus was somewhere and she believed she came and changed the thing that she can get now. She now for wait for second. She can get for her own when 
No. By law, she wasn't supposed to get yet. She's not a Jew. She's a Greek. They must get second. But she heard and believed and she acted and God says, all right then, all right then, all right then. By the time you go home, by the time you go home, me, listen, the, the demon gone out of your child. Me not have to wait to come to you next. Take it with the Jews. Take it with the Jews. And glory to God in him. I'm saying to you, you not have to wait for no matter. Once the word is preached, you can't take it when? No. You can't take it when? No. Say, so if I preach on miracles, you can't get your miracles when? No. If I preach that you're going to get a house, you can't get it when? No. If I say, choose prosperity, you can't get it when? No. Psalm 35, 27, you don't believe me. Psalm 35, 27. Verse 27. Let those who favor my righteous Let cause. Let those who favor my righteous cause. And have pleasure in my uprightness. Yeah. Shout for joy. And be glad and say continually. Uh -huh. Let the Lord be magnified. Uh -huh. Who takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Who takes pleasure in what? The prosperity of his servant. Him take pleasure in what? In the prosperity of his servant. Glory to God in heaven. Come on, give God praise for that. He takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. God like when you have it. Say neighbor, you're not have to wait. Say neighbor, you're not have to wait. You see, when God wants you to have it so much. Hello, let me give you a sick example. Jesus was in a realm that he was teaching the disciples. The realm was more than enough. God's intention is for you to have more than one vehicle if you choose to. More than one piece of property if you choose to. More than one shoes if you choose to. What about weave? Well, me no know. <laughs> Let me just close with this. Mark 4. 35 to 36. Mark 4. Let me show you how Jesus rule. Money never normal, you know. Now, folks will see me in a brother done. And sometimes I always have some guys with me. Me never me not reach up to the 12 yet. Some people say, I always have man around him. And then they realize say it's short. Because Jesus has 12 with him. Sometimes I'm five or six. Me, me need six more man around me. So some are arguing about, you always have to, why am I to walk with so much people? A shot with shot, a 12 more aunt. <laughs> I went to a church and some, some preachers get offended about, you know, every word that me goes, he goes, he, these, these people with him. And they, why am I always have to have six men around him? Me just turn back and say, because I don't find six more. <laughs> a 12 me for walk with a shot with shot. And I'm looking workers now. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory to God in heaven. So let me show you how Jesus rule. I, I, I want to be like Jesus. You, you know I want to be like Jesus. Read Mark. Let me show you how, 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 how I'm rule. This man not normal. Verse 35. Watch this now. On that same day. On the same day. When evening had come. When evening come. He said to them. He said to him disciples. Let me show you the man rule. You know. Let me show you him rule. What him said to them? Let us go over to the other side of the lake. No, hold on, you know, listen, you know, him said, make go over to the other side of the lake. Him not know, him go over there, you know. Him said to the boys, let us go over to the other side of the lake, huh? Oh, what do you think about going over to the other side of the lake? Watch this, read it. Verse 36. And leaving the throng, they took with them. And just, leaving the throng, they took with them. They took him with them. Them took, oh, him with them. Just as he was. Just as he was, where? In the boat. In the boat. Say neighbor, in the boat. In the boat. Then take him in our boat. Yes, sir. Yes. Then take him into a boat. Yes, sir. Read now. In which he was sitting. Yeah, he is back. Boat. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Man, man for your boat. 
Watch this now if I am one. Read it. And other boats were with him. Glory to God in heaven. And other boats were with him. The man a roll with boat. The man a roll heavy. You know, sister, the man a roll heavy. He went into a boat and sit down the big boat. And other boats were with them. Glory to God in heaven. The man a roll with a crew. I am saying, we watch in Hollywood and Netflix, and I think Jesse Duplantis and Kenneth Copeland are the closest ones I see with this. When they are going out, them ride them Harleys. Sometimes all 30 of them. Are, and them Harley, you know, Chris Mike. They are all preachers, men of God, who live in a big house and have private jets. And them stay so true at all. Upon them Harley. A crew. It looks so nice. When them ready, them park the Harley bikes and they're all rolling in Bentleys. You see a Fiona clock. What I'm saying to you is Sister Petra should call one day and says, teach, we're going down to Ochi. Make two calls. Call Ann and call some others. And everybody just roll out some rose rice and a Ochi. Today, if you call two of your Christian friends and you roll out, you're going to see all a bicycle come out. I said, no, this has to change. This has to change. We're supposed to roll out. Hello, let me open your eyes. The elite folks, when they are going to hotels to drink, let me tell you, look in the parking lot where them coming out and look at all of them fan dangles with them one chain in about a tick and rich and a big ring and them some big liquor. So, hundred and eighty ninety thousand dollar buckle. And that appear your mortgage. Man, I drink one buckle of liquor. Where are your mortgage? <laughs> Let him drink that and done. Hallelujah. I am saying this is how Jesus roll. Him roll out in a boat and him have boats round him. Other boats, try not no. Try nothing. He was moving with his disciples. A man come for him. Ask the last man. He lose his ears. Because them roll different. I am saying, choose prosperity. It comes with status. It comes with God want you to choose because he has all power. He has wealth, all riches, all honor, all glory is yours. Your ears and joint ears with Christ. I'm saying in the last days, you're going to have to call it. You're going to have to follow what God says. You're going to have to submit to his word. He talks about the righteous shall inherit the earth. The righteous shall get the wealth. The righteous be the righteous. That's all. Follow the principle and the wealth will come. You see, if you don't follow the principle, I'll close with this. This is your portion, Job 27, 13 to 17. And we stop here, sir. You know me, the only plan for share for about 15 minutes. I see a hand up there. A hand around our foot. Are your hand? Okay. All right. I'll soon take your question. Make a read Job first. If you know want to roll with God, and what God say, I hear scripture this. Read it. See it on the screen if, if you don't get it. Uh, verse 13. This which I am about to tell is a portion of a wicked and man. And for those listening, it's Job 27, 13. So if you're not the righteous, if you're not a child of God, this is your scripture. 
Read it. This, this which I'm about to tell yeah. is a portion of a wicked man with God. Yes. And a heritage which oppressor shall receive from the Almighty. Yeah. Verse 14. If his children are multiplied, uh -huh. it is for the sword. <laughs> and his offspring will not have sufficient bread. Uh -huh. Verse 15. Those who survive him, uh -huh. the pestilence will bury. <laughs> and going. their widows will make no lamentation. Uh -huh. Verse 16. Though he heaps up silver like dust and piles up clothing like clay. Uh -huh. Verse 17. He may prepare it. But the just will wear it, and the innocent will divide the silver. Glory to God in heaven. The just will wear it. So you heap up riches, I'm saying. So while the sinners and while those who are out there, the ruthless, the wicked man, are heap up property, heap up apartment, are heap up riches, he, God is saying, just be the righteous. That's all you have to do in the last days. Just follow me, submit to me, then I'll heap it up for you. We just read God says their portion is going to be disaster. They are heaping up riches and wealth and whatever only to give to the man who is righteous. So all you have to do is to be right with God. Is to submit to God. Is to love God. And love God people. That's all. Maybe some of these wicked people are your neighbors. I run left the house. Girl. Hallelujah. When the first worm. him wake up. him see worm in him head top. Eh? Worm a bite him. And I'm home. He wake up. He's a pure worm. Hello. He run left at the house there. And when you go over there, not a worm. Glory to God in heaven. Hallelujah. He may heap up the spoils that you will get it. Where in the last days, expect wealth transfers. <laughs> Choose prosperity. And until it comes, you have all power. Where it is? Now. Where it is? Now. Where it is? Now. In your mouth. Call the things that be not as though they were. You will have what you say when you say what you say. Come on, give God praise in the house. Let's take the question from her down there. Glory to God in heaven. Good night, Apostle. Good night, everyone. Yes. So just to testify to what you're saying. So on, in January, everybody knows what I do. They're supposed to. But in January, um, you're required to apply to a certain organization. Everybody's required to apply to a certain organization. And I remember some time had passed, and it slipped me for various reasons to send a resume, right? Um, so about in May, after exams had happened, um, persons were coming to me and saying, you know, you get through for anywhere, you hear about anything anywhere. And I was saying, no, I haven't applied as yet. And everybody kept on telling me, ah, you might not get through then, you know. But every day, Apostle, I kept on saying, I have favor, I have favor, I have favor. To I'm going to get to go that place. And I remember a friend even just up to last week, she was like, so where do you intend to go? So I was like, I'm not sure as yet. I haven't really applied. So you're not going to apply? So I was like, yeah, man, but I know so I have favor. I know I'm going to get through. Apostle, about sometime Monday, Monday this week, actually, I was sitting and talking to one of my, the same friend that came here, and I got a call, and she said to me, hi, is this my name? And then I said, yes, it is. It's a good thing. I answered the phone nice, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And she said to me, okay, well, we have your name down here for you to start come next week. And, and apostle, this is a top of top organization, you know? Wow. So she was like, we know that you never sent in your resume, but we have your name. So I was like, I was like, what? I was like, you sure? And they were like, yeah, man, such and such told me about you. So we have your name here from a long time waiting for you, but sorry for, and they're apologizing to me. 
and telling me sorry for calling you so late. God in heaven. <laughs> you know, so I start next week, and only three of us were chosen. This is a top organization. Glory to God you know? in heaven. So you have to go by your words. Every day I kept on saying, I'm going to have favor. I'm going to have favor. Without my resume, them have my name. My name. Glory to God in heaven. And that is why when you have a name and you have favor and you have power, then you have to protect and preserve your name. Let me say it again. You see, when you have a name with power and authority, you have to guard your name. Because the enemy sometimes will try to spoil your name or your character. So if you have a loose character, it affects your name. And when your name and your character is affected, it spoils your word and your credibility. Glory to God in heaven. Hallelujah. That's why with some people, they don't need cash. Them just use them name. So you have some persons who will walk into a store and because of who they are, they can pick up some clothes and leave and not pay a cent because them name good. Lots of folks who purchase top of the line vehicles or even aircraft is them name on the money. Is them name. They use their name. They walk in and, and they said, Send 20 of your cars to me. I'll take 20 from the first line of cars that you have. Send them to me. Them say, who is this? My name is Scott. J.A. Scott. Them say, huh? 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 Send, 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 send. Some people are near. And you have to sweat like a horse. Because your name no good. You write a check for $5, it have chuck spring on it. Chuck spring, you know what that mean? He bongs heavy. <laughs> five dollar, you know, five dollar. You don't need no checkbook. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. I see a hand over there before I take that. My, my Zoomers, any of you on the Zoomers uh, have any testimony or have something that you want to say, search them out there for me so to my Zoom, Zoom with your hands. Glory to God. Anybody on the Zoom have a testimony? Anybody on the Zoom have something burning that you want to say? I see somebody waving there to me and stuff like that. Hi, girl. Did you get to go to that place? Did you go on Amazon? Did you get your gift? Oh, yes, sir. I got my gift. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Pastor Darty. I love you so much. I got my gift. Oh, bless you. Um, I'm waiting to bless somebody with my gift. All right. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. The big man, that. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. So I have a testimony, sir. So um, one of my jobs, I have two jobs. One of my jobs is at the hotel, right? Um, normally, I was front desk. And then because they're short staff, they keep putting me everywhere. So I ended up over in the bar for a bit. Um, so the tips are really good in the bar, right? But then it keep bothering me and I keep saying to God, God, this is not an environment for me as a Christian. And I don't want to lose myself <laughs> in a bar. I can't yeah. go back down the road. The bar thing, I know my thing. And I kept hearing your voice, Napa said, bar is buy a room and leave. Yeah, that's right. So I, I know it's not my environment. So when I went on vacation, I kept saying to God, God, I know these people, if you go and complain, they're going to want to put you in that shift. So I said, I now complain, but God, take me out of bar, but me really want the money. And the restaurant, everybody complain, or the restaurant tip don't go to. Like... The people that come to the restaurant are like seniors and then we tip one like a two dollar one, this or, you know you're not really you want to go home with the money. Yeah. Anyways, I start confessing. Every day I go into work, I'll go in the mirror and I said, Okay, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will get great tippers, good customer, no mistake, no miserable people. Since I went back, every day I've been over, they just transfer me over the restaurant for some reason. I've been coming home with more tips than what I would have been making in the bar. Glory to God in heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Like, it's even shot me today. I This morning I get up and I say, God, I don't know about me a gower. I need to come home with cash. I just want a whole heap of cash. I don't want them to owe me a tip. And sir, my first set of table, I got a... It was a bunch of seniors. The seniors, they were well said, they weren't tipping up. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody tipped me cash. I was just getting cash, 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 cash. One lady came in and was like, there's something about you. I didn't have a good day now. But then I came and I just saw you and my day just got great. Something about you. Look at that. I Look don't know, that. something about your cute self, something going, going on for you. But you just made my day. And it was just so amazing to know that you transferred from there and God really honored that to know and say, okay, may I take you out of the environment and may I put you in this, are you still blessed? Look at that. That's why I said, even on the teaching, I said what? All power has been transferred to you. You open your mouth and power was activated and you get more than what you were getting over there. So that's why I have to teach this because sometimes, you know, for example, you were looking for the money and you figure, boy, I'm just there. So, but the power was in your mouth. The minute you engage your power, you see it changed the atmosphere. And you, you hear the lady now confess. She said, there's something about you where she can't figure out. But she don't know, is the power. <laughs> it's the power. Glory yes, to God, sir. sister. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Yes. Yes. Good night, apostle. Yes, good night. Yeah, good night, G with family. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so um, I'm really happy. Well, we are really happy to be here. My wife is here and our baby is here. Yes. So I remember you. Yeah, um, yeah, we're really appreciative of that. And um, we, we tune in we're, um, from overseas because we are not here right now. So we're just flying from foreign. Okay. <laughs> Which part of foreign are you flying from? Virginia, Virginia USA. Far. Okay, yeah, Virginia Virginia in the house. Okay. So um, on the Zoom, you prophesied to us about a key, and you did other. You prophesied about other things as well. So I mean, we the key was prepared prepared long before we got into Jamaica. So we want to just um, give thanks for that. And then other God. things that we're looking forward to. So as soon as these things come up. Then we'll notify you. Glory to God. And we are supposed to see you as well. Um, you gave um, Dane some instructions for me. So when you have that time, I'll be willing to see you. How, how, how long are you here for? Um, almost two months, seven weeks. Okay, okay. So we'll have seen time. Glory uh, to God. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Glory to God. Come on, give God praise. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Hallelujah. I think I saw somebody. Go back on the Zoom quickly, just trying to indicate to me there. Let me just take that one. And, and stuff like that. Is there anybody on YouTube? We can wave to them. I don't know if there's any YouTubers with something to say. But if not, yes, ma'am. Where, where, where are you? Tell me that first and foremost. Where are you and what you have to say? Let's see how quick we can do this. I am in Connecticut. You're in I'm Connecticut. Gonna... Okay. So I work in the engineering department at a very um, high top university in New York. Okay. And... I worked in building management and facilities when I lived in Minnesota. When I came to New York, I said I wanted to take a break, so I became a custodian. So I used to clean the offices and stuff. But I had my degree and stuff, but a lot of people didn't know that. But I just wanted to grow my daughter because she was young. And I was cleaning for a while, and then one day I said, God, I'm ready to go back into the professional world, you know, going up the ladder back. Not that anything is wrong with cleaning, but I just wanted to move back into that setting. And so I started packing up my cleaning uniforms and buying suits. And I said to my coworker, you know, I'm not coming back this year, you know. And he was like, what? I have to see this. But I kept speaking it, and I kept speaking it. That's right. And... Um, I was going on vacation and I saw the job, but then I said, oh, it requires an engineering degree. I don't have an engineering <laughs> degree. I mean, like um, public administration, political science, that back, background. And, um, but I kept, every time I changed, I put out a uniform, I bought a suit. And 
I went, I came back, and then my boss said, um, oh, I want to see you. And I'm like, for what? Because this is the big director. And I'm like, he's like, no, nothing bad. And he took out the, the job position, the same job that I said I wasn't qualified for. I didn't have an engineering degree. And he said, well, he, the director came in. He said, it doesn't matter if you have an engineering degree, he'll train you. And if you have to go back to school, you go. And I walked into this job with... I went to three different interviews with people with engineering background, and I got the job. COVID. So that God. January, I walked in from a cleaner to engineer. COVID and to I manage projects, construction projects. I'll pass it tell you the truth. I go in there, I don't know nothing, but God taught me everything. I would talk to him about my projects. I said, God, I don't know how to do this. But he sent everybody around me who knew <laughs> went back to school, about to finish a master's in construction management. But you got to speak it. And, you know, I, I, I think today this word just came in time because at times I said, Lord, I'm believing that somebody's going to pay my mortgage off. But sometimes something like, oh, you know, you can't think that big. But this message came back and it reminded me when I moved from a cleaner into the engineer. I'm still in the engineering department, and I said, yeah. I'm going to the president's office. So, you know, pretty soon. Glory to God. I'm not too hard to get there, but... And, and your mortgage will be paid off. Yeah. You keep saying that. Glory to My God. My mortgage will be paid off. That's right. That's right. You have the authority and power. Come on, give God praise for her. <laughs> Glory to God. I said this to you, then I, I had over to call. I remember... Troy, um, I mean, he might soon be flying in. Um, he was seeking God for a job, you know, an engineer job. He's an electrical engineer. And so he was praying, praying, praying. And I said one day, I lay hands on him and I said, okay, I, I will lose that job. So, okay. So about three days after, um, he got a call. Now, he's thinking. Remember now, the thinking. So he thought... He got this job now, so they were, they were going to put him with somebody and like, you know, kind of carry him through the ropes and till him get seasoned in, in, into the work. And then he would kind of take over. He said, the boss carry him upon a plant, the site, and said, well, the job is yours, you know. You see that engine there? Are you in charge, right, you know? We want it fixed by weekend. He said, look on the engine, look on the man, but he can't say nothing. <laughs> so he said, after the man walk off now and gone. Him said, him said to himself, Friday? And it was like Wednesday? Him said, turn up his mouth up now the year ago. So, rub, 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 rub. <laughs> him said, appear tongues. Him said, tongues carry him through. Tongues. Because him said, he no, 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 engine. Him said, the biggest engine him said, the first him said, something. Yeah. Him said, but him praying at tongues. And him said, you're like, put that wire there over there. So, him said, put that wire. Him said, when him done, and him done now, him, him say, no, no, if him for run away or whatever, because him must say, if they start this and now explosion, him, him say, yeah, I know. Because him say, a tongues came through. Him say, when him call the man and say, I am finished, him say, him feel like he want to rest room. Him say, the man come and walk around the thing, and he made the man say, hmm, hmm, hmm. Him start to say, hmm, <laughs> He made the man say, and then he made the man say, like he would call next man and say, come here. Do you believe this? Come and look at this. The man come look. Him say, back, back. He might try to look at exit now. He hear the man say, come here, Mr. Mr. Thing there. Him call. The man say, I've never seen such a genius work before. He say, I'm free. The man say, you're a genius. Eh? The man say, listen, this thing is perfect. I have to call somebody to show them. Him say, him say, hey, hey. <laughs> a tongue scam through it. Sometimes I'm saying God will put you in a position and God guide you. Put that over there, that over there, that over there. Him just follow the instruction, pray in a tongues, and God make it work out. So instead of him wee wee, him get increased. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come, call you come. Come on, give God praise for his word. Choose prosperity. Come on, give God praise. 